Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for January 5th, 2022. So if you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So this had a really nice rally or basically Christmas rally, you call it the end of last year. We basically rallied roughly 5.71%. And after a rally like that, usually the market comes down or it has a minor pullback. So we did see uh, four days here where we kind of pulled back towards the 20 exponential. But we were going back towards the previous highs here. So we kind of broke out of this uh, of this of this range here. And uh, after this, it is uh, fairly clear that this market, in the long term, will most likely go and target uh, 15. Uh, uh, 5,000 I was supposed to say. So at this point we are just trading sideways. It has been a really choppy day. We did rally at the beginning of the session then pull back and we ended up at basically at 0 0.06. So nothing really um, um, amazing happening today. And most likely this market will either go sideways for the foreseeable future or in best case scenario pull back towards the 50 moving average and uh, that gives the possibility of basically buying the dip. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that the, the MACD is still bullish in, uh, in positive territory. We can see the RSI is also bullish. CCI is also bullish. Stochastic is in bullish territory, has crossed the signal line, but it's still in bullish territory. And we can see that the, uh, in the Bollinger Band here, we are getting fairly close to the top of the Bollinger Band. If we were to pull back, then roughly, uh, 4,700 give or take around the 20 exponential or best case scenario down towards the 50 minimum average at 4,673. That's uh, probably where we'll find major support. If we break below there, then the 100 moving average, which has, which we tested twice in December, beginning of September, also in mid-September, uh, December, I was supposed to say, uh, offered massive amount of uh, of support. So if we just look at how this market has been behaving, we have been in a major bull run for uh, basically in March 2020. And uh, it looks like that is just going to continue. And in the long run, we'll most likely go and test the 5,000. So if you look at the major, uh, the major pullback today was basically in tech stocks. So NASDAQ got really crushed today. But that gives the possibility of basically buying the dips, which I basically did, a full disclaimer. Um, main reason, we hit the 50 moving average here and it kind of bounced. So we may go further than this. That is possible. There are signs that this market will continue falling down towards the 100 moving average. And if that is the case, then uh, that is even a better um, buy in than basically the 50 moving average, but it could also just bounce here and then continue higher. We um, we have been trading kind of in a, in a range similar to the uh, uh, to uh, S&P 500, uh, but in the long term, 17,000, 17,500, that is most likely where this market will um, head to. If you look at, for example, the major tech stocks here, all of them had a pullback, especially Tesla that was up Give or take 13%, uh, I think it was yesterday. It fell 4.18% today. Apple also down, Facebook down. Uh, we have Adobe down, Microsoft down. So all the major um, tech stocks in this industry uh, basically fell. And that will, of course, have a, an effect on this. There are a lot of stocks that have um, that have fallen roughly 50, 30, 50% the last the three months. And uh, those are significantly undervalued um, at this point and uh, most likely that's where those uh, word rallies is going to happen so if you look at technical indicators we can see the MACD is still bullish is about to cross the signal line you can see the RSI is flat CCI is flat stochastic is becoming bearish and we're basically hovering in the middle of the bullish band so a break below here we could go towards the bottom of the bullish band just above with the 100 moving average and that's a drop 3.5%. If we could go there, yeah, probably. Um, if um, 
if uh, interest rates um, or basically fears of interest rates continue to increase, then yes, this market can definitely go lower. But um, as you can see, people were biasly buying the dip at the end of the session. And usually that is a fairly good indication. You can see it's similar here when it basically uh, continue, continues uh, grinding to the upside. We're still in a major um, bull market and it's not until we basically cross below the 200 moving average all the way down here which is roughly at 14,800 uh, that I would consider this market um, basically becoming a bear market or when we uh, create or um, lower lows and go higher. Until now, we have not seen that. We're just seeing higher highs in the long run. And as long as we are above the 50 moving average, 100 moving average, 200, then this market will mostly just continue going higher. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.